Welcome back, everyone! Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss HDPE pipes and PN in HDPE. But don't worry, we'll make it fun and easy to understand. So, let's dive right in! So, what exactly are HDPE pipes? Well, they're super strong and versatile thermoplastic pipes made from high density polyethylene. These pipes are used in various industries for their exceptional durability, flexibility, and cost effectiveness. Let's talk about the fantastic advantages of using HDPE pipes. First and foremost, they're incredibly durable. HDPE pipes can resist corrosion, abrasion, and chemicals, making them perfect for long term applications. Plus, they're lightweight, which makes transportation and installation a breeze. Another great thing about HDPE pipes is their flexibility. They can be bent to accommodate changes in direction, reducing the need for additional fittings. And the best part? HDPE pipes have leak free joints. Thanks to fusion welding techniques, these pipes provide seamless connections, ensuring a reliable and efficient piping system. Did you know that HDPE pipes can last for 50 to 100 years? That's a remarkable service life. And here's something to make you smile, HDPE pipes are environmentally friendly. They are recyclable, contributing to a greener and more sustainable environment. Now, let's uncover the mystery behind PN in HDPE pipes. PN stands for pressure nominal and it's all about the pressure capacity of the pipes. You see, HDPE pipes come with different PN ratings, which indicate their maximum allowable operating pressure. The PN rating system ensures the compatibility and safety of the piping system. The higher the PN value, the greater the pressure the pipe can withstand. It's like a superhero power level for pipes. But how do we choose the right PN rating for our HDPE pipes? Good question! Several factors come into play. First, consider the operating pressure of the system. The PN rating should exceed the expected pressure to ensure a safe and reliable piping system. Next, take a look at the pipe diameter. Larger pipes usually require higher PN ratings to handle the same pressure. Fluid compatibility is also important. Different fluids have different pressure characteristics, so keep that in mind when selecting the PN rating. Oh, and don't forget about environmental conditions. Factors like soil type, temperature variations, and external loads can influence your PN selection. And of course, it's essential to comply with regulatory requirements specific to your industry or region. Now that we've got the basics covered, let's talk about installation and maintenance. To ensure the optimal performance and longevity of HDPE pipes, proper installation is crucial. Prepare the area, use fusion welding techniques for strong joints, and handle the pipes with care. Regular inspections and testing are essential to identify any issues early on. By staying on top of maintenance, you can prevent leaks, ensure joint integrity, and minimize the risk of failures. Remember, a little maintenance goes a long way. So, where can you find HDPE pipes in action? Well, they're used in numerous applications. From water supply and distribution systems to sewage and drainage systems, HDPE pipes are a reliable choice. They're also widely used in irrigation, gas distribution, and various industrial processes. And that's a wrap, folks! HDPE pipes and PN in HDPE may sound complex, but with a little cheerful explanation, we made it easy for you to understand. Remember, HDPE pipes are the superheroes of the piping world, strong, flexible, and always up for the challenge. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting content, and stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, keep smiling and keep learning. Take care, everyone.